Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is very exciting. Basically, I got a call yesterday from my voiceover agent to say I've booked another voiceover job. It's actually the same client as I recorded for in December, but they're looking to re-record um, properly today. So she was like, can you get to London tomorrow? And I was like, sure can. So yeah, I've rearranged my week. I'm heading down to London. This is my first time going back to London since moving up north, which is going to be weird arriving in London with my backpack for the day. Essentially being a visitor for the first time, not being a resident. Here we go, it's 10 o'clock and I've just realized that I might arrive home at 10 p.m. A full on 12 hour day for a little voiceover. But you know what? I don't mind at all. I would so much rather have the work. I love doing voiceovers so much. I'm so excited for today. And financially it still makes sense, which is good. I have also treated myself to a little first class upgrade because I was like, you know what, why not? And I got the first class upgrade for 12 pounds. So for an extra 12 pounds, I get to sit in first class, have free food, free drink. So yeah, I think it's worth it. Anyway, yeah, I've left a lot of time to get there because I am worried about this being the first time I've gone from up north to London for work and I absolutely do not want to be late at all. So I figured it would be very difficult for me to be late this morning <laughs> because I should be getting to the train 20 minutes early. I should be getting to London two hours early and it should only take me like 30 minutes to walk to the studio from King's Cross. So yeah, hopefully it all works out. Well, I've arrived at the car park. I've got my ticket. Um, it's £11.50 for the day, which is cheaper than I thought. For some reason, I thought it was going to be like £30. Maybe because I feel like that is kind of true with lots of train station car parks. Or definitely in Southampton, where my family are from, where it's just so expensive to park even for the day. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I must say, guys, I'm so happy that this part of mine and King's relationship is over in terms of... <laughs> him driving me to the station. This is the first time I've ever driven myself to this station. And it just reminds me of how for the last few months it was Keegan driving me here and dropping me off and coming here, picking me up and like, yeah, yeah I'm just really glad that stage, not that stage of our relationship is over, but that part of our relationship. And I know Keegan's relieved as well because it means he doesn't have to drive and pick me up as much. But yeah, I hope I'll be able to get a space. This is busy, who knew that this many people get trains from Wakefield. Right, let's go. I need to remember what level I'm parked on, because also, guys, this is completely foreign to me. I've never driven to a train station and then gotten a train into London. It just, I feel like such a tourist, and I don't like that, because I like the arrogance of being a Londoner. As Londoners, we hate tourists. I'm no longer a Londoner. I'm now a tourist. Especially when going in first class because it feels a lot quieter and it's comfier seats and stuff. And I'm like, what should I do? Should I edit a video? Should I watch a YouTube video? Should I listen to music? Should I read a book? I've got my book here. I need to like crack on with it. But I don't know what to do. I think I should probably edit a video. Yeah. Here we are guys, back in dirty, smelly London. <laughs> that was a really good journey. I got a whole video edited, I read some of my book, and I went over my script for the voiceover session today. So, very productive journey. And now I have two hours before my session, which, as I said at the start, is overkill. I could get to the studio in 30 minutes. However, I'm glad I'm here early. What feels a bit strange is that normally when I leave King's Cross and I'm doing this walk, this very walk on this very street, I'm walking home or I'm like I'm walking to another station that then I can go home. And it's like, I'm I'm not doing that now. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I've naturally found myself doing this same walk to Waterloo Station. And I'm like, no, Joel, don't go to Waterloo because <laughs> that's too far away and you don't want to go there. So I need to find out what I'm doing. What's your story? What's your sign? 
It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection. Right, two hours has nearly gone, guys. I've been walking around quite a lot because I realised I need to get my steps up today. So I've walked around for about an hour and a half. I had a quick sit down and a coffee. I'm just reading over my scripts now. They're all very short, one seven second commercial and two five second ones. Um, yet we will spend an hour, maybe more on these. So it does take a lot longer uh, than you'd expect. But yeah, I'm just heading there now. I've got 15 minutes until the session starts. So I like to get there like 15, 10, 15 minutes early. So let's go. Here we go guys, it's called Clear Cut Sound. I think this is where I came last time, but I always lose track of all the studios, but here we go. We dreamers. Over done. I've just been running. Basically, my train's booked for seven, but it's ten past five. So instead of waiting around for you know two hours, I was like, let me try and book an earlier train. So I've changed my ticket. I've had to pay an extra forty-five pounds, but it means I can get on an earlier train, and I uh, have treated myself to it because. Uh, they kept me for two hours to do the voiceover, which is great because I get paid double. I get paid on an hourly rate, so I'm like, well, I'll treat myself then. I'm being paid double, so I'll pay the extra £45 to get home earlier. But whilst I think I have enough time to get there, I'm just worried that I don't. So I've done a little bit of a run. There's my old school, Rada. Anyway, oh, they'd be so proud of me watching me vlog down the street instead of doing Shakespeare. Um, Anyway, hopefully I'll get there on time. Well, I made it, guys. I did not need to run. I'm 20 minutes early. Right, instead of going to the lounge and sitting in there, I'm just going to keep walking because it's less than 20 minutes until my train leaves. So by the time I get up there, I'll only have to come back down again. <laughs> um, and if I stay in the station, guys, I'm going to buy food and there'll be obviously food on the train. So I'm going to get my steps up. Well, I'm back about 10 hours later, back in the car park, which is a lot emptier now. Oh, I had a little G&T on the, on the train. That was lovely. Uh, right, let's get home. Right, let's go. Oh, what a day. I should debrief you about the job, shouldn't I? So obviously I can't tell you what the job is for yet um, because there's all sort of like, there wasn't an NDA, like where you sign a non-disclosure agreement, but it's all sort of like hush-hush and I'm not really supposed to talk about these sorts of things until they're done and and dusted and, and live, you know, on TV or wherever they may be. So I can't tell you what it's for, but what I can say is it's a client I've worked for before and I really love them and yeah, it's just, it was so good to be back in the studio. It was a really hard session, two hours. Normally they're one hour, but they obviously knew that it was gonna be a tough session because they did pencil me for this second hour. And basically, well, let me do this. Uh, they penciled me for the second hour and basically it was a lot of back and forth and you might be thinking how is recording a very short adverts how's that taking two hours so I will try to give you a rundown of what it's like let me put my glasses on <laughs> turns out there were the script was a bit bigger than I expected there were three versions of advert one three versions of advert two and one version of a potential other advert all for the same brand and all of them were slightly different. They have slightly different wording, which may sound trivial to you, but there are marketing departments that have spent days, weeks, maybe even months on the correct wording of this. Like, oh, what evokes the right emotion? What will make people buy our product? Like, there are people that look in, like, let's say they use the word superior. This happened in the session. Hopefully I don't get sued for talking about this. <laughs> they use the word superior to describe what they were talking about. They were going back and forth between themselves, the client being like, this segment is too long. We need to shave some words out of it. Can we get rid of the word superior? And the other person's like, no, we absolutely cannot get rid of the word superior. Superior is like the most important word in this sentence, whereas someone else might go, no, I think we can get rid of that. Basically, that's a, a client issue and I just stay quiet. I just say whatever they tell me to say. 
but it's a lot like that. There are a lot of people involved in these adverts that you would never know, and nothing is ever fully final. So for example, one of the adverts was a five second long version, and there were three different versions of that five second advert, but we recorded it, and it was coming out at like six, seven seconds, no matter how fast I did it. And the, the sound engineer and one of the clients that were there in the room with me, or you know, in the studio, were like, we need to get on a call with the rest of the team via Zoom because this is not possible. This sounds rushed. It doesn't sound correct. So they got on the call with the, the rest of the team and the team were like, okay, give us five minutes and we'll call you back with some new drafts. So they call back with a slightly different wording of the sentence and things like that. So it's a lot of back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, it just, it takes a long time and I, I don't really know how else to describe it other than having a camera there in the room and filming the entire session for people to see. I think it would just be so interesting for people to see because they don't know what goes into it behind the scenes. Because of that, it was a slightly stressful session, but it was also really fun because we were like problem solving and we were trying to, you know, you know me guys, I love my opinion. <laughs> And I can't help but give my opinion. I know I'm there as a voiceover artist to just do as I'm told and uh, say what I'm told. But, you know, if I feel it's right and if I feel strongly about something, I will voice my opinion. And there was one version that sounded horrendous and it wasn't me, <laughs> it was the script. And I was like, this is, this is awful. <laughs> this section is awful and luckily, both the guys in the room agree with me. They're like, oh my gosh, it sounds horrendous. Like it, like the, the wording of it just sounds so clunky and it doesn't sound right. But that is also the reason for doing all the different versions is that they've got multiple ones to choose from. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it will be on TV imminently, but who knows? You never know with these things. They could, worst case scenario, they could take my recordings back to the office and the client and everything and the client goes, oh no, no, we don't like him. No, hire somebody else. The chances are that's not gonna happen because I've worked for these guys many a time. However, that's always a risk. It's time to get home. I should arrive home a similar time to Keegan. We basically said whoever arrives home first starts cooking dinner. I'm back home and he's home before me which should mean he's cooking dinner. What a good boy. Hello. He's cooking, hello dogs. Hello, hello, hello. Right, we have just blitzed dinner. It's currently in the oven, on the hob, getting ready. It's 9 p.m. It's 9 p.m. All we want to do is relax, but... All I want to do is do it. Big go, big go. I don't know what that is in reference to, but... Oh, so safe. Kevin and Perry, we're reunited. We've just been so busy today. So busy. Both of us. Really, yeah. It's like Both we're working we're men. We're working girls. Working girls. Not that kind of working girl. No. We earn an honest living. Not that, it's probably not PC to say that's not honest. But you know when people say an it honest living. It is, because it's illegal, so. That's true. Yeah, yeah so an honest living. Illegal, so. You know, I'm gonna get my PJs on because I want to get out of these jeans and these jeans are going in the wash because I've sat on many a train today. You need to get out of that body as well. I know, it smells damn stinks. Right, we're dishing up. I don't know what this is called. It's some sort of prawn laxa. Sri Lankan. Sri Lankan prawn, anyway. Would you like extra chilies as a garnish? A little bit, but not too much because it'll pay for it tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's enough. And that is it, guys. I'm going to end the we vlog here. Vlog. Yeah, I vlogged in London. Oh my god, you're like a vlogger. Vlogger. Yeah, that is funny you pick to say that, because I am. But anyway, we're going to have a lovely evening, whatever's left of the evening. It's half nine, we're going to have dinner. We've got some snacks oh, for we'll be in bed afterwards. In I know. Well, not with the snacks you bought. Actually, we could go to bed and have the ice cream. No, we couldn't. We're both against eating in bed. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. Maybe last thing before you leave a hotel. Maybe. 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 Actually, I don't mind doing it in a hotel because I'm like, it's not my bed. But I think one of the first times I stayed over at Keegan's, I was like, just so you know, I hate the thought of breakfast in bed. I never want that. And he was like, good, because I would never serve you breakfast in bed. Because we both think that eating in bed is gross. But eating in general is great. It is. Here we are. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you're new here. I post videos every single week. Ooh, she can't stop posting. Oh, she can't. She's got bills to pay. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.